say two words, but can I be what you deserve? Just tell me, can I be there for you? I don't really know if I should do like a foundation or not, so I'm gonna skip the foundation. I'm going to use this concealer from Maybelline. It's the instant anti-age. I'm just gonna put like a bunch of them under my eye. I do have a lot of pimples and acne. And now I'm going to wet my beauty blender with the rose water. And I just like bob it out. I actually record like a skincare routine video last Tuesday and I plan to upload it like yesterday which is um, Saturday but then I uh, I watched the video again and I feel like I was so ugly and my hair wasn't pretty at all like it looks stupid so I don't have the ability, the motivation to edit it and upload it to the internet because I have like super big insecurity so I just don't do it that's why I have to record another video today to upload it so that I keep the consistency hmm. so now I'm going to use one of my favorite palettes ever which is the Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills I really love their products like most of my products are from the ABH. Now I'm going to use the Tempera, which is just like a white color. I'm going to use this for my base so that the other color show up. It actually doesn't matter because I did put the concealer on. So now I'm going to use the Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange, these two colors over here, for my transition shades. I'm just going to bring it around, kind of define like my crease because I don't have one. I hate my Asian eye a lot, but still I have to deal with it every single day. And now I'm going to use the Riargar, Riargar, the orange color. And I just want to blend it in my corner, like outer corner. And I also blend it in my inner corner. I'm just gonna bring it all around, but kind of focus on like the outer V. And now I'm going to use like the blending brush, um, brushy brushy, and then um, blend it out because you don't want to have harsh line. It's gonna get like really, 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 really dark. Now I'm going to use like a small brush to um, put the color underneath my eye still the real color this brush is kind of big but I feel like it's gonna blend my eyeshadow out why is it kind of pink up there? and then I don't know is it supposed to be the same color? now I'm coming back to the, the concealer brush like the flat brush just to clean everything up like I always do like this just like the last video, just kind of clean it because I don't want it to be messy. I'm not really chatty in this video. I hope you can understand that. Kind of clean this also. So now to my favorite, favorite part, which is apply this glitter over here. I bought this for like 16 pounds. Like I haven't used it like properly until I get this glitter primer from NYX. I think I'm still going to use the concealer brush and then I'm going to squeeze just a little bit like just a little bit on the brush and then apply it um, on the area which I want to apply my glitter and it it should be pretty cool and sticking the glitters in I usually do kind of like a cut crease like I don't know I love doing cut crease nowadays and I'm just going to do one size first because I don't want the primer to be too dry. Now I'm going to like, because it does have a little bit on the lid, so now I'm going to use like um, a lip brush. I'm going to get some glitter out of the cap because I don't want to waste it. And just apply it on the place you want to put it. Just as easy as that.
I think I'm also gonna apply it underneath my eye. I look so extra right now, like I'm, I don't even know if it's a problem. I do put it a, a little bit on my brow bone to kind of highlight it. Now I'm going to contour my face and my nose. Um, I just bought this shade and light contour kit from Kat Von D. So I'm going to use like just a uh, an anger brush. I'm going to use like the darkest color in here. Cheekbones. I kind of familiar with it, so I don't really need to do any special technique to know where my bones is. I don't know, I do like random stuff. <sighs> so I'm going to use this brush to contour my nose. I use like the lightest shade here. I still feel like this shade is not cool enough, like I need a cool tone brown to contour my nose. And I kind of do like um, a dark contour on my nose to make it look higher. I still really prefer like using the Morphe palette to contour my nose But this palette is good for cheekbones and jawline contour I don't feel like I like it for my nose because it's still kind of warm tone Can't you see us First, I think I'm going to apply my mascara. I don't think I would apply any eyeliner today. Now I'm going to use my favorite uh, mascara, which is the Lash Sensational by Maybelline New York. And yes, I did got this from L'Oreal, like the telescopic. But this is shit. Like I only love the wand. But the the actual mascara doesn't hold your eyelashes up, so it depends on your opinions on this. But it's not that good, and and like I don't know if it's waterproof. I don't see any smudging, but it does take really long to dry. So I don't really like it. I only like the the one because it's so small, so you can apply it on your lower lashes. So yeah, I'm just gonna use this instead. It's my favorite. I definitely gonna rebuy it. Still going back to the telescopic for my lower lashes because the one is so small so it's easier to apply. I always have to check the viewfinder to make sure that like you guys can see what I'm doing. Yeah. For eyelashes glue, I usually use this duo brush on Ahensive with vitamins in dark. I really like this because uh, it has the brush so it doesn't look messy. It's really easy to apply on your eyelashes. I applied it underneath my eye. Like I already got used to it so it's just easy as that like there's nothing so special about this. If you haven't done it before don't assume that it's gonna be bad or something because I ha never have any problem with it. I bought these eyelashes for $1 from this shop MissA.com It's so good, like each pair can be reused for multiple times and if you apply it and take it off correctly I need both hands but... Now I'm going to finish up with my highlighters and my lipstick, that's all so this is my most favorite ever, like my first proper highlighter. Can you even tell me like how awesome this is? I recommend using highlighter brush like, like this. I usually use Forever Young, but I, I've seen a lot of people have been using Kitty Cat with uh, Forever Lips mixed together. So I'm gonna try that today. You only need a little bit on your brush to have the blinding look. Like, look at that. And I also brush it on the brow bone a little bit and up here. This is like my 
highlighters for life I don't even know if I should buy any more highlighter I think this is like more than enough I don't even think if I can use this up for my nose highlighter I should be just like use my finger because it's better and it just wore a lot of products just like a little touch and there you go you have the funny um, glowing nose now I'm going to use the kitty cat only for my cubicle mm, I think I'm gonna keep it simple for my lips since my eye are already pretty dramatic I'm going to apply some lip balm because you don't want like cracking lips um, I don't want to actually line my lips or anything since I want to keep it like really simple um, and nude so I'm going to use like the MAC Toby. This is awesome. I use it like every day because it's really natural. Focusing on the inner part of my lips and just kind of blend it out with your lips. Maybe I need to spray some setting spray. This is the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I don't have, like the smell but I feel like it does keep my makeup on. I think I got someone on my eye. So that's all for my video today. It's kind of long, but I I feel a lot better talking to you guys like this. So I hope you guys really enjoy those get ready with me like chit chat talking video. Only if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment down below. Or maybe share this video to your friends because maybe they will feel interested in me somehow. But I'm not begging for subscriber, like only subscribe and like if you like me. That's the point. So after all, thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you guys next time.